Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can update the firmware on your Aufero Laser 2 and any other Arthur machine. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, this is going to be a fairly quick video tutorial. The other day I was just checking whether there was some new firmware release for the Alfero Laser 2 and find out that actually um, updating your machine uh, it's not pretty straightforward and so I thought that it would have been a good idea to just uh, put out a video so that I can help you guys if you uh, need to update your firmware. Now obviously uh, a firmware update is something good to know uh, from time to time so that's something that I would suggest you to put in your routine every like a month or so to just go ahead and check if there is uh, any new firmware because usually with firmware updates they are uh, solving bugs as well as improving performance and bringing new stuff overall. The other thing is that uh, sometime you might have some trouble with your machine it might not engrave correctly, it might uh, have some strange behavior and so a firmware update uh, might actually solve the problem, okay? And so, uh, before to uh, go ahead and show you how to do that, let's download the firmware for our machine. And so to do that, you will need to go to Ortur Firmware Repository. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now, once you are here, this is the way it looks the page at the time of recording this video. Um, you can basically scroll down, you will see all of the models from uh, Ortur and Alfero. Uh, but if you want to move quicker, you can use the quick navigation and so look for Alfero Laser Series. And as you can see over here, we got the first and the second uh, model here. And so once you target your model, uh, you can go under General. Here you will see the latest version available as well as the release date and the updatable from, which means whether you can update it from Windows, Linux, or Mac. And so now before to go ahead and to download this, uh, let's verify what's the current version in our machine. Now to do that, there is a quick instruction at the beginning of the page, but it's actually very simple. You can use either LaserGRBL or LightBarn. So I will show you with LaserGRBL first. Um, so basically once you connect your machine, you will see this OLF uh, column, OLF 186. And so, we can see already that uh, we are outdated. So there is a newer version uh, available and so we can close this and let me also show you on Light Barn the same way this will automatically connect and again OLF column 186 and so uh, we double confirm that we are outdated. And so let's now go ahead and uh, download the file. So let's go over to download 187 download link and save your file somewhere so click on save and then we can also open the file location over here we can extract everything extract all extract open up now once you open the file the folder uh, there is one file that is the most important one to perform the actual uh, installation and this is the one ESP Alfero 2187.bin. Alright, now we will need to actually go ahead, power off the machine, and work out from there. Alright, so if your machine is powered on, let's power it down by clicking the reset button. And I then highly recommend you to unplug both the power source and the USB cable and to leave the machine for a few seconds without them so that we can de-energize everything in the motherboard. So after a few seconds, let's plug back in the USB cable and the power cable. Now, once you have done that, you will need to follow a simple procedure. You will need to hold down the power button for five seconds, similar to when you power up the machine. And then after the five seconds elapsed, uh, you need to click onto the reset button. Now, the procedure turns out to be a little bit trickier than what I thought. Uh, so you might need to try this a few times. And that's because you need to be perfectly synchronized 
when the five second elapsed and when the button has to be clicked. And so let's try this out. Let's hold down the power button. And nothing happened. So let's reset. Let's try this one more time. And yet nothing happened. Let's reset. All right. And as you can see, we are successful. We've heard twice an audio feedback from the computer. Now the two LIDs here are flashing. And as you can see, the computer have launched a new instance of um, the file explorer with a new drive. And that's because the machine right now it's being read from our computer like if it would be an external drive. And so let's now jump right back into the computer and let's see how to finish up the firmware update. And so now what you want to do is to get the ESP of Faro to 187 bin, which is the current version that we want to update, and drag it and drop it inside. Now this will copy. Should be fairly quick. And once it's done, you will see that basically um, the machine will power down on its own, will disconnect. Now we'll wait for a few seconds and then we will go ahead and power up the machine and to verify if everything went all right. All right, the machine is back on. Now let's go ahead and verify the version. Let's connect. And as you can see, the new version is here, OLF 187. Now, uh, Alfero recommends also to unlock the machine and to reset it. So we can uh, send this command here. You can see it's dollar sign RST equals sign star and click on enter. And so this is going basically to restore the default. This is basically going to uh, bring the GRBL settings to default. This is what they recommend you to do. So unfortunately, any uh, custom settings to the GRBL settings will basically be uh, removed. So you might want to go ahead and change them again. And so once we are done, we can close. Uh, let's verify also with Light Barn that everything was successful. And so as you can see, 187, everything is basically uh, good to go. And so now we can close. And that's how you do that. So uh, it's not that hard. It's just not as straightforward as one would think. And so, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, click the thumb up button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.